Hello students and welcome to Career Night at Santa Rosa Junior College. Uh, I'm Dr. Brenda Flies with Hawks, Professor of Psychology in the Behavioral Sciences Department here at Santa Rosa Junior College. And I want to take just a few minutes to share with you my own academic experience and journey uh, that led me to the professional career of becoming a psychologist uh, and a professor at Santa Rosa Junior College. English is not my first language, and I am a first-generation high school graduate, and I am a first-generation um, college graduate. I was very fortunate in my education, beginning in the first grade through middle school and into high school, that I had teachers that were interested in me and that impressed upon me the importance of staying in school and also uh, getting an education because they they talked to me about and shared with me that an education gave me choices, that an education and a degree gave me options, that an education and staying in school uh, gave me the opportunity to think about a career path. So that was very important to me. And uh, I learned that it was important for me to ask questions and talk to my teachers and ask them questions about college and questions about different careers and questions about different jobs and what it meant to uh, work in a uh, factory or what it meant to work in the fields. Because when I was growing up, those were my options. Uh, you either uh, worked in the field or you worked in the factory. And many times uh, you worked both uh, the factory and the field jobs. So when I was growing up and when I was in high school and in middle school, those discussions with my teachers about this possibility of going to college or what type of, of uh, training could I get at the local college or post-college, excuse me, post-high school uh, that could train me to do a technical job, for example. And I'm thankful that I had an auntie and a grandmother that also taught me to have conversations with my teachers and to listen to what they were saying because it informed me in regards to uh, my future and what did I want to do with my future. So in high school, another blessing was that I was able uh, to <laughs> have instructors that in their areas, of English and math and areas that they were interested in, uh, they instructed me and shared with me of how I could uh, use those particular subject matters to build on and lay the foundation for other courses that I might take in uh, higher grades. So uh, that helped me as a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and a senior. And I took courses that I did not want to take courses I was not interested in. I took chemistry courses. I wasn't interested in chemistry and math courses. I wasn't, you know, interested in math, but I knew I had to take uh, geometry and physics and those courses. Little did I know that those courses laid a foundation for me in choices that I would make when I was in community college. I did graduate from high school. And I didn't go to college immediately. I went into the Air Force and I served in the Air Force for about six years. And while I was in the Air Force, we had training and teaching and courses that we took there to train us in the career that uh, we were doing uh, in the service. But they informed me and my high school education laid the foundation for the courses and classes and learning opportunity that I had while I was in the military. The military further laid a foundation for courses for me to take and again opened the conversation for me to consider going to college and getting a degree and getting more education. I went to college at a community college, uh, just like Santa Rosa Junior College is a community college. It was a two year college uh, at that time, it was in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I went to college there. And I had instructors again that took time with me uh, to advise me and counsel me 
and talk to me about what did I want to do and what was I interested in. These are very important conversations to have with your high school teachers, as well as your auntie and grandmother or, or mother or father, it might be an older sister or brother uh, that's talking to you about what you like to do and listens to you as to what you like to do. Uh, it's really important. And if you don't know what you want to do, that's another wonderful thing about the community college is because it offers that opportunity to take various courses in various disciplines. For example, there are what's called general education courses, English, math, science, but there are also other courses that you can take that we call electives, psychology, sociology, anthropology, that add to your learning experience and help guide you down the path in making decisions about what you might want to do in your life, whether it's to be a carpenter, whether it's to be an automotive mechanic, becoming a nurse, becoming a doctor of psychology, or becoming a doctor in the field of medicine and becoming a surgeon, or maybe becoming a politician and becoming the next president of the United States. All of these classes guide us and direct us and give us the opportunity. It's about choice and it's about opportunity. And you may be saying, well, but I'm just in uh, the ninth grade or 10th grade or eighth grade, or I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, and what does that have to do with where I am in college or school right now? Well, it has a lot to do with it. Remember I said it's about choices and it's about asking questions and it's about laying the foundation. So whether English is your first language or not, and regardless of what academic grade you are in currently, stay in school, ask questions, and a key uh, to success is simply showing up. I tell my students in my class now that the way that you can be successful in college and in my classroom is to do three things. Show up, show up, show up. Because if you show up, you're going to learn, even if you're, even if you're just listening, listening is a way to learn. If you haven't done the reading, you haven't done the assignments, but you show up. So I encourage you, stay in school, show up in your classes, ask questions. I encourage you and challenge you to sit on the front row because then you don't get distracted by everybody that's in front of you. So once you graduate from high school, and listen, if some of you don't make it through high school or maybe you drop out, you can always return to Santa Rosa Junior College. We have programs to assist students to pick up where they left off with their education to help you with your GED requirement, for example, and to get you qualified and prepared for college classes. But stay in high school, get that high school di diploma, and then think about coming over to Santa Rosa Junior College and taking courses with us. Uh, as a community college class student. I took courses at the community college. They informed me. That's where I became very interested in psychology. I then transferred to university, to four-year university, and got my degree in psychology. And I was also interested in sociology and couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to major in. So I majored in two. I majored in psychology and sociology, and I got what we call a double degree. After I finished my degrees in psychology and sociology, I worked uh, uh, part-time and I went back to school as a master's graduate school student. So I got my master's in psychology. That takes about two years. You're gonna spend two years at community college getting an education. Might take you three years to do two years, but that's okay. Two years for an AA degree two more years to complete and finish your bachelor's degree, what we call a BA or a Bachelor of Science uh, at four-year university. Uh, and Sonoma State is right down the road. You could transfer to Sonoma State, you can transfer to San Francisco State University. There are all types of options. You have Stanford that is right down the road from us as well. 
So there are many options for you. Two-year degree AA, four-year degree for a bachelor's of science or a bachelor's of arts degree. Then you go to graduate school and you get your master's degree, master's of art, that's what an MA stands for, or an MS, which is a master's of science degree, depending on the field of study that you are in. And then you have the option of going and getting a doctorate degree, which is the choice I made. Uh, I went on to get a doctorate in uh, clinical psychology because I wanted to be a clinician and um, didn't have any idea that I would come back and uh, be an educator with that doctorate degree, uh, but I did. And that was a, a choice and an option that getting the doctorate degree opened up that door of education for me as a professor. So I encourage you to think about your own path. Start with what do you like to do? If you don't know what you like to do, then talk to people. Take some classes to, that might interest you to inform you in making those choices. Santa Rosa Junior College is a great school. It's the Ivy League of community colleges because they, uh, we offer such a diverse opportunity here for uh, education. If your choice and your option and your preference is to not get a four-year degree, but you want to get a technical training. Like I said, you can get a technical training and a skill set in automotive uh, uh, mechanics, as well as construction, as well as becoming a, a police officer. We have a fire academy here. We have a police academy here. We have a two-year nursing program at Santa Rosa Junior College, and you can study and get your requirement for transfer with a AA degree in psychology, if psychology is your interest, and transfer to, to a university. So I hope this has been helpful to you in looking at what career opportunities and career paths you have uh, through staying in school, and getting a community college AA degree at Santa Rosa Junior College. And I hope that you'll consider Santa Rosa Junior College. Come over and talk to some of our counselors and let us be that stepping stone to your career and to your success as a prof uh, professional. I wish you the very best. And I hope that this has uh, uh, been helpful to you. Uh, my best to you as you continue your academic journey. If you come to Santa Rosa Junior College, please do look me up and I'll be glad to help you in any way that I can. Bye for now.